Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to set up a quick scenario on how to use Symmetric DS transformations to add a replicated time to a target table. So we already have Symmetric installed and we've already connected to two, a source and a target database. And we've also even set up one table for replication. So we have one table here, the customer table that's moving from source to target. We can go out and look at the current state of the data. In the source side, we have one row with an ID and a name column. On the target, we have that same row. So we're already in sync. Now, let's say we want to add, on the target side, a last replicated time to this table. So we're going to add that extra column. By Naturally, it'll be null by default. Now let's say we want to populate that dynamically with symmetric transformations. Let's go to the configure and go to the transformations and say auto create. Here we have some options to make sure we're using source from target. Source waits for pull to target. Now we can do implied or specified. Implied means that whatever columns we do not indicate here will automatically be copied over as part of replication. Specified means that only the columns that are changed and, and identified in the transformation will be sent. So let's use implied. Let's set up a basic transform. Now we're going to go ahead and use edit columns to get into the column level details. We're going to add a new transformation. And on the target, we're going to use that last replicated time. And in this case, we're going to use a variable type transformation. So we go down here and we select variable. And in here, we have a list of variables already available to us. The system timestamp will provide the current timestamp when the data is sent. So we apply that. And now we have a transformation in place. Let's test this out. If we go to the explore on the source, we can insert a new row. So we'll insert a new row, and we can see on the source we do not have a last replicated time. But let's take a look at that on the target side now with that transformation in place. 